Hello from the dead. So this is going to be a bloggy video update on what's been going on around here. Uh, you're looking down the stairs to the basement where pretty much every video on this channel has been shot to date. It's a rather depressing place indeed, but as of roughly a week ago or so, the other inhabitants of this house has moved out and that has left me with an entirely new floor to work with. So let's uh, have a bit of a grand tour. Uh, it's not completely cleared out of everyone's old stuff yet, so the place is a complete mess. It's just a mishmash of just random uh, gubbins and things. Uh, uh, and to boot, this house in the interior is in rather poor nick, so uh, this is going to be a bit of a horror show. So we are standing in the kitchen, which has previously had, uh, like I've barely ever lived on the middle floor of this house. It's it's a bit of a weird concept. I'm, uh, since I'm a sad, lonely person, I've been living with uh, my parents for quite a few years, uh, and uh, they've basically had the middle floor of the house to themselves, and I've been upstairs and downstairs because they're old and they don't fancy walking in stairs. It's worked quite well. Uh, but now we have the middle floor as well. So of course I've invented for all my own stuff. I've got a home-built table, this little workstation setup, which is very, very comfortable because it has been a bit of a grievance to go upstairs or downstairs in order to use a PC. Uh, in this direction, as well as the microwave, we have the entrance to the house. This is very old stuff, single pane glass. It's got doggy and cat doors there. These are leaking heat. Uh, as hell, gonna have to. I actually have a new door to put in here. Uh, this is the uh, entrance area. This house has a very weird layout since uh, when you get in through. Here, that's me in my lovely robes. Uh, since when you enter through the door, you walk right into this uh, afterthought toilet because originally this house didn't have a toilet, but uh, it does now. A rather claustrophobic <laughs> toilet, no less. You basically are just sitting there staring into the wall, but uh, at least you don't have to go out and use the outhouse as you did when the house was built. I think this was added quite, uh, quite immediately actually, but yeah, bit of a layout issue. Uh, so yeah, this is just an area full of just random building stuff I've been renovating and cleaning. Uh, this house is in terrible shape, it's had lots of pets over the years. It's been smoked in every way, it's been half renovated from time to time. Uh, I put this window in actually, just a while ago. Did a horrible job at it, so let's not have a look, closer look. We have a fiber coming in. That's up there. Is my puppy going to get replaced by an Edge Rider X as soon as I get, can get my hands on one? But we'll find out how decent internet, uh, which is such a relief. That's other people's clothes, save for brain jacket. Have to clear that out. We have more other people's clothes there. Still have to clear those out. Uh, those are the stairs going to uh, my bedroom and uh, the office and stuff. We might go there in due time. And this is the main attraction. So this room has been uh, the older people's bedroom. It's uh, the biggest room of the house. Uh, and this is where I think I'm going to move the uh, studio and editing room and get those done into one room again because, God, shooting videos in the basement and running up two flights of stairs to edit for getting half your gear downstairs is just an incredible bother. Uh, it's been driving me crazy. That's a big part as to why I've been so incredibly late over the last and while uh, uh, with uploading videos, I've been a horrible, horrible blogger, but hey, my income falls away, so uh, I get punished for it. Uh, so uh, I've got a lot of work to do in here. Uh, the walls, uh, ideally, you'd want to uh, get rid of all this stuff. This is basically just uh, uh, paper with wallpaper on top. It's like cardboard, a very hard packed cardboard, uh, but uh, I don't have the money nor experience to do it properly or high-end want to do it so uh, my plan right now is to basically just paint the walls white 
uh, and go with that. We're gonna have to replace the ceiling though because that's uh, all of this stuff is smoked in and it's there's been so many pets in here it's, it's the smell in here is really unpleasant uh, so I just basically want to get a fresh layer and everything. Uh, the ceilings are gonna have to get redone I'm uh, hoping to because this is a kind of ancient technique used uh, they just got some cardboard and just tensioned it across and it's starting to sag down and crack everywhere and it's gonna come down and it's horrible. You can't paint it because it basically melts. Uh, so I'm hoping to just rip that out and paint whatever's underneath. Uh, it should be just uh, wood up there, hopefully not too horrible looking. Uh, the floor used to be uh, a nice wooden floor but uh, it's uh, very worn down. Uh, I'm thinking I'm, I, I don't have the uh, money or skills to do, redo this properly so I'm just gonna put a cheapo uh, floor boarding on top of this basically, a laminate, I'm not sure what it's actually called. Uh, basically just put a layer on top of that, uh, remove that, get some paint on that and then we'll call this a studio. Uh, gonna have to redo all the electrics, these lights are... I don't know. You have four lights on the walls, it's, it's not very good uh, for the kind of lighting I need and uh, the electrics in this house are Terrible anyway, so I'm gonna have to redo them uh, because I just uh, don't trust the wiring going to these. It's horrible ancient wiring. It's uh, crumbling and falling apart. So these are, I just want to d d undo these, uh, disconnect them at the uh, central fuse box and uh, have uh, just run an external uh, circuit uh, underneath some modern, uh, whatever these things are called in proper English uh, and just to uh, do fresh outlets, fresh light wiring and just disconnect that, forget it even exists. They're not even grounded outlets, so it's entirely horrible. Uh, yeah, over here we have uh, what's supposed to be uh, a dining room. Uh, you, the house has this weird bulge here. There's about, uh, I don't know, uh, roughly a meter deep and sticks out. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do the layout here. I have to get rid of this pile of trash here, just clear everything out if anyone wants a, a chair, come take it. Uh, you're gonna have to clear all this stuff up, just a bunch of garbage, like this garbage from basically the previous owner, then 10 years of uh, uh, my parents living there, and uh, yeah, it's just a big mess. Hey, we've got a free RC boat there, cool. Uh, but yeah, this is you know, decent storage, I don't mind this, but uh, you have to clear it out properly, redo the um, Chris Christmas wrapping shelving there. But generally, good thing about this house, it's generally very, very well built. It was hand built by a local guy, uh, very good quality on basically everything, like all the woodwork is prime stuff. So it's a very good base to work with, but boy does it require work as a lethal crumbling light which it doesn't do a very good job at all uh, this cabinet's gonna probably have to go, I don't like it, it's ugly it's cheap, it's worn down, it smells and uh, this is uh, I think this is connected on the same circuit as the light and the ceiling and there's two 30 volts in that like there, there's two 30 volts in that I've measured it, you, you shouldn't touch it not exactly legal, and this is the crumbling old oh god, really shouldn't touch that. This basically crumbles when you touch it. If I were to pinch that, the insulation would just fall off, and uh, that's just running in the walls with no piping, no tubing, no nothing. Uh, basically, being a giant fire hazard if we get to rodents in the walls, uh, which we do have sometimes because this is a rural area. And uh, you can see some of the material underneath uh, since this window has been leaking. This is basically just a hard packed cardboard and uh, here some animal has said chewed away at it I'm probably going to have to patch this or just ignore it because uh, I, I have no money uh, but uh, yeah uh, this is just going to get painted over anyway uh, basically going to have to rip everything out except for maybe uh, roll down curtains but they're new and nice uh, we're almost done a complete lap. The layout in this house is so weird because I have this huge, huge chunk in the middle with a stairwell on all the way over there and this stuff here uh, and you just walk around it 
here we have a, a room with a, a faucet underneath a bunch of garbage. Uh, I have no idea what the purpose of this room I think it's like a dedicated shaving room because it does have a power outlet. The toilet doesn't have a power outlet and uh, you have a faucet down there. But yeah, this has obviously just been re used for storage plastic bags going there. I suppose I did not make that up. Turn the light off because I'm cheap. Uh, this door is an afterthought as well. Uh, we got this at like uh, a charity shop for maybe 20 euros. And I did a not very good job putting it in with just to stop the dogs running around. And now we're back in the kitchen. The kitchen's actually pretty decent. It uh, was renovated in maybe 2006, so it's like 12 years old or something. Uh, all the stuff works relatively new, but uh, still need to clear everything out, figure out a bit of a better layout in here. So much random guffins and stuff. I have already improved on the lighting. You know, I like that lighting. It's uh, just upwards firing spots. You have a very, very soft uh, lighting in here. On a dimmer. Whoosh. Very, very nice. And some extra spot like that. For benches. I like the kitchen. It's it's after I chlorined everything to get rid of the pet and tobacco smell, it was it turned out pretty nice. Uh, yeah, let's let's not look at that window. It's it's a horrible bit of work. So Moving on upstairs, this is my horrible work. I completely misjudged the thickness of the uh, floor. I uh, thought like this, even if cable was going to go in there, well, it went in there, and yeah, whoops. So this is the uh, central area of the uh, stairwell, a central room. Like this, is, the layout of this house is like an apartment building, basically. Where these would basically be apartments, right? Uh, and this would be like the common area. So, uh, I really don't care about this room. It's uh, always just been a storage area where you just shoved random garbage you don't want. Uh, we, we've been real hillbillers that way. Uh, I know we're horrible people. Uh, it's just, yeah. That's a, this is a door out. To the outside, you have a little balcony there. Uh, I have a bit of a dream of uh, actually putting a ladder beside the balcony uh, and building a platform on top of the ceiling because I love sitting outside uh, in the middle of winter looking at the stars. That would be lovely. Got the inspiration from uh, Night Number Woods. Woods, actually. Cute little uh, furry themed uh, uh, PC game. Lovely game, actually. Do check it out. That's my 4G antenna. Thankfully dis uh, discontinued now that we got to Fiber Game. Uh, yeah, most of this stuff I'm just going to clear out because well, this is a chair just full of cat hair. Just ugh, ugh. I I just haven't like I lived here, right? I've had my office, I've had my bedroom up here. That's my bedroom there, and I walk around here all the time. But since there's been pets in here, uh, it's just been such a mess. I don't like pets. I, I I like petting pets, but I don't like owning pets because they make such a huge mess. Yeah, so I just haven't bothered. Uh, with anything, uh, because the pets have just made such a huge, huge mess. Uh, free running cats, yeah, no, take them away. Uh, there's most of my stuff actually. Uh, there's some nice table tops I'm gonna probably use. There's my automatic light. Here is uh, a cabinet which uh, I have no idea why we even have it. Uh, and here is my uh, uh, office. You've probably seen the videos on that. This actually, this room was renovated like just a couple of years ago, barely used. So this is actually a nice room, and yeah, it's my office. But uh, I have absolutely hated having the office here because it's the furthest away corner of the entire house. It's basically impossible to get here because you, you, it's it's so far away from everything. To get to the kitchen, you have to walk all the way down here, down the stairs, around there on the lower floor, and get get to the kitchen, grab something out of the fridge, run, run a marathon back upstairs, and get here. So that's been a bit of a shame. This probably just going to be like a guest room since I already have like a, a bedding sofa there. I need to do the laundry for that. Oh well. Yeah. 
That's the least disgusting part of this place, I think. Let's turn to the most disgusting part, which is going to be uh, my lair of a bedroom. So this, uh, I haven't prepared this at all. This is my bedroom, uh, slash TV room, soundproofing of the walls. Slouching couch, very optimised for single person use. <laughs> uh, small TV for the bed. Big Pioneer Kure 5080 fancy ass plasma TV for the sofa. Luxman Stereo JBL speakers. This is uh, this is uh, not a renovated room, so we have a horrible ceiling, still horrible wallpaper. This window is a piece of garbage. It's been leaking. I'm gonna you know, quite soon. I'm gonna have to have this fixed. Up. It's broken on the outside. It's such ancient glass. These break very easily. Like if you just knock them hard enough with your fits, it's going to go <coughs> and pieces start falling out. Yeah, but yeah, this has been my bedroom for like 10 years, so it's a bit boyish still. I just haven't bothered redoing it properly ever. This is one of the weird little upstairs closets full of uh, random hi-fi gear. Uh, nice thing. I've just run some wiring uh, through the wall, so... I have a hole somewhere around here. There you go. There's a hole going to the TV. So I have my PC in here. So I can have a very loud piece if I want to. And uh, it'll just uh, uh, not bother me because it's on the other side of a thick, well built wall like these are. Very good quality walls. Very nice thing about this house. Very nice thing indeed. Proper thick wood for everything. No plasterboard, uh, no nothing. Thick exterior walls as well, but they're old, so they don't really insulate. Yeah, this is what the horrible cardboardy stuff looks. This is a chimney, and it's just falling off, and the ceiling is going horribly wrong. This is what happens when this old cardboard ceiling material just rips and falls off in time. This is a room which uh, we've just been throwing random stuff in. It's uh, somewhat emptied out since uh, the old guys have moved and they brought some of the stuff with them. Uh, but yeah, I turned this into my server room a while ago uh, because I had no space for it anywhere else. So it's it's not bad. That room's uh, annoying to get into, so we're not going there. Another one of those half height cubs, so just have some random hi fi gear in there as well. Random palm shop uh, things. There are some windows. That's the door going to the attic, which is not uh, usable, it's just insulation basically. And uh, rat poison up there for good reason. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is one of those rooms. <laughs> this is a very big house for one person, not even for the three people who have been living there. So, it's very nice to just have a, a room where you can just toss random shit and let it be. But I'm going to probably clear a lot of this stuff off. Like, I don't like having other people's random garbage around and out. I'm fun living here alone. I don't have to. Uh, it's completely pitch black outside, so we're not going to see anything out there. But let's close the door. Save some heating. Uh, the heating system. We actually do have a fancy heat pump. Well, I have a fancy heat pump in here. So it should be not too expensive. Uh, keeping this place reasonably warm, although I'm so cheap I'm not going to bother. Yeah. So much just random moving stuff here. Most of it is just trash, but I'm gonna load up in a bunch of trailers and just drive away. Have it burnt. This kitchen. Needs a new light. Yeah. So this is heading down stairs to some more common territory. This is where I've been active, as you can see. This is my taste of art. This is a little frog I made in like a fourth grade or something. He's just hanging out there and looking depressed. That is the sad face. So yeah, this is the, uh, uh, you not see much of this workshop because I was making uh, a bit of a 
heavy duty workshop but I just kind of got bored halfway through and uh, never bothered uh, really furnishing it properly. So it fell off with garbage and uh, it's in ho a horrible state right now. Uh, but a uh, huge part of it is this basement is horrible. Like I'm 170, I can depress my hand up against the ceiling. It's barely even two meters up here. It's very, very annoying to try and do anything because you keep hitting your head. Well, not your head, but everything you're working with in everything. Like, uh, if, uh, I don't know where I'm aiming with this thing, but yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not a big guy. That is annoying. Let's uh, get some light going. So yeah, this is basically just my, this is the basement front. This is my area of the house. It's full of random tech garbage from that's just collected. I need to, I need to clear a lot of it out. That's where the grass room is supposed to go. I don't remember where I put that. Well, that's that's a shame. But yeah, this is the, the reason I came here. Look at that, that's a fancy heat pump. That's a nice piece of kit. Rather expensive, it's uh, a ground based heat pump. It's sucking air through uh, the lawn, basically. Uh, 300 litre hot, hot water tank. Very nice, does heating, does hot water, does everything you need. And uh, it's uh, completely surrounded by my junk. I, I am very ashamed of this, this is this is not how I like to portray myself. So let's just pretend this never happened. This is the uh, solar room. This is not actually a part of a house. It's uh, more like this is the stairs thing. Like it's it's not house. The house ends here. This is like something else. Piping for the heat pump. Big battery bank needs attention. I've been incredibly lazy. Haven't had, haven't felt inspired to work on that this year. It does work. It is giving some power, but uh, yeah, not. This thing needs more care. But hey, we have voltage. It's running on solar. Running a couple of hours a day. And battery. Not too bad, but needs attention. We need to. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. Need to fix that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. This is. Uh, my house. And of course, this is the uh, normal workshop where pretty much all the videos have been shot. Well, it's not really a workshop because this is also a wet room. It's. Uh, oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to. The shower, because the shower is here, because layout. This is the shower room. It's completely horrible and disgusting. Uh, basically, I'm furnished wood walls in the shower. This is not good by today's standards. Uh, concrete floor, nasty drain. <laughs> ah, this is pretty hilarious. It's very nice to have like a giant shower that's just you know a big room full of garbage. Well, it's not full garbage, it's just an empty room. Kind of need to get rid of all this trash. This is not mine, so for that one. Uh, so yeah, need to clear this out. But yeah, it's very nice to just be free showering. You, you, you get used to it, I can't shower in a normal shower because I just wave my arms around and make a huge mess. Yeah, those things came with the house. Pretty nice, well I paid for them. So they bought a well better gun with the house. And these rooms are like uh, little storage thingies, so they don't have light or electricity in them. So I just have some random gubbins, more random gubbins in there. Maybe we've got enough light going to see something. No. Got some uh, rebuilt TVs there for studio lights that I'm going to use on the second floor. Yeah. This thing's such, this place is such a mess because I just haven't, I haven't wanted to fix this space up. It's depressing to work in. It's uh, very cold in here. Even if it's uh, 30 C outside, it's 15 in here, which can be nice in the summer, but it's 5, and five C in the winter and the heating's up in the ceiling, so you never get it warm. And I'm, I'm always cold. That's just where my body works. So yeah, I'm going to be very 
happy to actually move a workshop out here and just resign this whole area to storage basically like some heavy duty working that's my streaming camera <laughs> very neatly packed in it fits exactly in that spot and nowhere else yeah camera work, work in here is very annoying shall we say because there's just no height no width no anything runs it is full of garbage because I, I've basically been depressed looking at this it just feels like oh, this is such a horrible room let's just throw shit somewhere so let's forget it exists for a while and go back upstairs I do have my work cut out for me most assuredly it feels nice to have a kitchen in reasonable nick though like this place has been so worn down but after scrubbing the walls and floor and ceiling for quite a while it's turned out reasonable enough I just need to clean it a bit more fix the layout slightly and we're gonna be good and I'm feeling fine uploading this as an unedited chunk because I can't be bothered editing video so yeah you guys make sure you enjoy yourself and uh, hopefully I'm gonna be around uh, sooner or later again hey good thing shooting with a fish eye I, I better need to aim this thing yeah cheerio